We are following that breaking news tonight. Law enforcement officials in Richland County and Columbia say an Army trainee at Fort Jackson reportedly hijacked a school bus this morning. Yeah, take a look at this video you're watching. It's a surveillance video from on board that bus. You can see very clearly officials say this trainee gets on and points a rifle right at the driver. This happened near the base in Columbia around 7 o'clock this morning. Officials say 23 year old Javon Colazzo is facing 19 counts of kidnapping. You can see in that that section of the video, he is now taking control of the bus in the driver's seat, and he also faces weapons charges. Our Jason Raven is in Columbia joining us live now where he has been attending press conferences all throughout the day. He has more details now straight from officials. Jason, what can you tell us? Ben and Diane, we're right outside the Richland County Sheriff's Department where Sheriff Leon Lott just gave a briefing that wrapped up about an hour ago just detailing what happened during this incident. He says the bus driver is really the unsung hero in all this, and he's just glad that everybody came out of this safely. Briefly, one to make sure we officials at Fort Jackson say they take full responsibility for this. Brigadier General Milford Beagle says this was likely an attempt by the trainee to go home. He had a very uh, solid counseling packet and he was uh, known to be just quiet, just a quiet individual, no problems, no issues, no other disciplinary uh, challenges that he had, you know, in the three weeks that he's been here. A beagle says the trainee jumped over a fence Thursday morning to leave Fort Jackson and according to Richland County deputies, things started around 7 a.m. when the trainee was spotted trying to wave down cars. He eventually got onto a school bus holding an unloaded issued rifle while elementary school students were getting on. Law enforcement say he asked the bus driver to take him to the next town over and he told the bus driver he wasn't going to hurt anybody and the bus eventually stopped at this church parking lot and the students and bus driver got off. The trainee drove off and left the bus at another location. He also left the rifle on the bus. He was arrested by law enforcement not long after. Very, very scary situation that fortunately for everybody turned out, turned out well. The kids, um, the kids are safe physically. Now we just have to address them um, psychologically and mentally. And Richland School District 2 says they are providing counseling service to the students, their families and employees. The superintendent, Dr. Baron Davis, says this call from this morning was the scariest one he's ever gotten. He's glad everyone is safe. It's a precious child to, to all of us, and uh, it was one of the most scariest phone calls. So many emotions uh, that I had, um, that we all have had, and uh, I'm just so thankful that our kids are able to, we are able to have the opportunity to help them um, recover from this incident. And Fort Jackson officials say that Colazzo, in addition to the civil charges, could face some disciplinary action from them as well. Ben and Diane. Thank you, Jason. And to watch more of that bus video and also the full press conference, just head to WSBA.com.